Why two Rocksteady from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle are engaged in a romantic candlelight meeting? And the answer is very simple. They struggle to choose who will have two legs and who not even one. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Woko and welcome to Wokolandia. Today I wanna show you how rescue and repair toys like this one from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle in this case, but you can use this technique for many other toy line from Master of the Universe to Biger Mice from Mars and many other. How many times we found character without arm or legs? Sometimes they are very difficult to repair, but in this case we have this little trick. They don't present any type of damage and actually you only need to choose which one you want to be complete. But sometimes this process is not too simple. Technically the only thing you need to do is pull out the leg from the socket. Without damage the leg, the socket and the ball joint. But sometimes the cheap plastic and rubber from very old toys like this one are not so good. And if you are not careful you risk to ruin the entire piece. And for avoid that I start warm up the rubber with this little flame. Obviously this one is the worst way, but it's cool in a video. <laughs> With a flame you need to be very careful and keep the toys not too close. You risk to burning the toys and the house in the process, then don't try this at home guys. <laughs> you have a lot of different techniques to use to warm up some rubber. Like using an air dryer or some warm water for make this plastic rubber softer. So you can pull out or push in the pieces without breaking anything. And you can use this technique with the Master of the Universe arm or the Biger Mice from Mars leg and arm. Whenever you found a plastic rubber pieces attached with a ball joint or a pin. I even use this technique with some old Master of the Universe armor or weapon, since it makes the pieces more flexible and there is not risk to breaking them. But now for our lonely legless guy we have two new legs from this Boxer Rocksteady. And like I said, making custom is a very good way for rescue at toys. I don't want to make something strange or difficult. I only want to rescue these toys like you can do at home. And the process is basically the same. You need to warm up the plastic rubber for remove legs and after that attach them on the main body. And obviously don't use the flame, use something else. Please, really, please, be careful. <laughs>
we have a brand new sporty Rocksteady with shirts and nice shoes and actually is way better than the original <laughs> but this brown underwear <laughs> over these <laughs> white shirts are something very very bad <laughs> and for fix this problem we only need some white acrylic also with black and red acrylic we can cover the shoes and the shirt in this way we cover the scratch and the ruined part unifying the color and making this figure better and with a lot more sense and about color I wanna share with you this thought of mine like always is only my point of view but maybe this thing can help you if you fix or make custom toys when I made some custom or toys rescue I'm very careful about how I apply the color let me explain if I wanna fix this guy and I start using some shade or some wash or even I use a lot of different color on this guy he obviously become way cool than this one but he stopped be um, toys from 88 becoming more like an action figure or a miniature and it's okay if that is what you want but in this case I wanna create a simple toys and for the side the color and the way the color is applied I'm getting inspired by the toy line or just look at the toys I'm repairing like in this case we have a precise color palette we have grey for all the skin part green for helmet and bracelet and for clothes on the original we have black and brown and if you remember we have the camouflage effect who used the other two basic color green and black in this way the entire figure is covered using only for color and is obvious because this stuff was mass produced and he have flat color and less color possible and for unify this new version of Rocksteady with the toy line we only need to look the figure now the brown pants are gone and in their place we have white shirts and red shoes these shoes have already some black who match with the shirt because of that we only need some red element or if you want some white element on the figure and I decide for two simple red stripes on the shorts of course you can choose the color but remember for match the rest of the figure the color need to be flat in this way you have something who match the original style and the entire toy line See it guys, after a layer of gloss varnish, this custom is finished. I hope you learned something new and if you have some question, comment down below. And remember, like, share and subscribe really help me on the channel and ring the bell for not miss the next video.
Ciao from Wokolandia and thanks for watching.